Hi guys, Michael here. This is a video showing you how to create a report for, um, in this case, a query in your database. So a report might be some sort of printout list that you might want to use for something to give to someone, or it might be a, a, a PDF or something like that. So let's have a look at an example. So let's pick our query pop list query that we made. We'll go to create and we've got some options here. We shall use uh, report. And it creates this report like this. This would, uh, this line here indicates that it probably will chop it off. Um, if we view our report, this is how the report currently looks on screen. If we printed it out, that would be a different matter, but we can edit that a little bit. So we can make that a little bit smaller, for example move things around a little bit um, can we change how that goes probably can um, we'll worry about that later um, if we go into um, no what we would do is we can well first thing actually before we go into anything else is we want to rename this uh, query pop list is not a good name for a report uh, so we'll get rid of that and we might say list of pop songs or something like that. That's a little bit better. It gives you the date and time that the report was created and it's listed all the songs that came under that uh, genre of pop based on that query from before. Um, what else can I show you? We've got here, if you want to have in the list of how many, you can keep that in, otherwise you can delete that. The other thing is when we view it, um, I don't really like those boxes. So if you want to do things like change that, you can select those boxes, um, go into report properties or just properties in this case of those with what's highlighted. We can go into border um, style, change that to transparent and hopefully that's fixed it. Yes, it has. There's another way to get rid of that. I also don't like the um, the shading that goes every second line here. I want to get rid of that. So how do we get rid of that? We click on that, and there's a thing for that somewhere. Um, scroll bars. Do, 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 do. Um, I can't find that off the top of my head, which is a bit of a pain. But you can have a look and find that, and I'm sure it's there somewhere. Just can't remember exactly where that is. But there is a simple one, and it's not coming to me right now. Um, grid line color, no, that's not it. I have to have a look for that later. But there are ways of editing the way your um, report looks. Reports can get a lot more complicated than this, but this is just a basic way of doing it. Um, another way of doing a report, then, for example, just, just quickly could be going into Report Wizard here. Um, let's use the same one. We would, in this case, select the uh, fields that we want. We can just import them all across. Um, we can decide how we want to arrange things uh, by artist or by song name. Um, play around with that. Let's go next. Oh uh, gosh, skip through all that. We can change the layout and the style here. This is a very basic um, example, so this isn't going to look particularly good. I can change it to landscape. Let's just go, mm, what do I like? Let's go block. And we'll go next, and we'll call this, um, we'll put in the title here, list of pop songs, something like that. Let's preview the report. And that is our report. As you can see, things aren't quite fitting in properly, so we can go in and change that. Now that we are in this view, get rid of that, we can play around with things to make everything fit. I will be honest, um, Microsoft Access is not the most user-friendly program in the world. Just have to get used to it, unfortunately. That should now work if we preview that again. That is looking good. In fact, I quite like that. I think it's better than the other one. 
as you'll notice it's listed Mary Moo and her two songs in the list but it's only got a name once which is not a bad thing all right hope that was useful and we'll see you next time bye bye